like a pro. Hey y'all and welcome back to Brandy Beauty TV. So today y'all, y'all, Lord have mercy. So tongue tied today guys. Um, we have my client Gary here and Gary has made quite a few appearances on this channel and I will forever feature her because she always changes her hair which I love, you know, I love someone who's optimistic and willing to try new things. They just make for, I feel like, um, some of the best canvases to be to showcase certain things and in this case that's what we have today so Gary is going to be getting an amino acid smoothing treatment and what this treatment does is it locks in the necessary moisture and it keeps excess moisture out while also repairing the hair shaft so unlike relaxers where the disulfide bonds are broken and sodium hydroxide is used to do that um, and unlike the keratin treatment which is marketed as it's not a chemical but it actually is it has formaldehyde in it and that also uh, kind of aids in straightening the hair too amino acid treatments do not do that so what it is is People with tip that typically have curlier, wavier, kinkier texture hairs, our hair does not have as many um, disulfide bonds as straighter hair texture. So the straighter the texture, or I should say the looser the curl pattern, the more disulfide bonds are generally present. However, in this case, our hair does not operate like that. So um, our bonds are kind of scattered. They're not in a straight row they're not synchronized they're just kind of all over the place right and so those bonds that are kind of scattered and all over the place have holes and gaps in them that's what that's the that's how you get your texture you get your texture through how your bonds are organized right well the amino acid treatments has amino acids and you have about i want to say about 10 or 12 different amino acids um that's how many different kinds you have don't get me going through all the the scientific terms but they're about 10 or 12 of them what it does is that it attaches itself and it fills in all those gaps right so you kind of have a stronger barrier so that your hair will not be so fragile and so delicate and um it won't i should say be so easy to revert back or revert to its you know natural texture so for example if you go to straighten your hair or blow it dry you'll get much smoother results and it'll last much longer without the humidity affecting it so that's basically all this does and it does last for about three to four months or 20 shampoos whichever come first and i generally see it last about three to four months so that's like what once a season so summer winter spring fall is that all the seasons yes let me, let me let me do that again winter spring summer fall yes so <laughs> you can get it done like once once a season beginning of the season or depending on your texture you might you know only have to do this in the summer months when it's hotter you know it just depends on the person and as we all know there is more moisture content in the air in the summertime than it is in the winter winter the air is drier so people's silk presses last a little bit longer um but this is an awesome treatment i love how it makes the hair feel i like how they market it more so than anything because i'm really big on using products that are true and live up to what they say they're gonna do i don't like nobody lying to me like i don't want to invest in anything and i know i'm having to do extra things to make it work or it just it doesn't do what it says it's gonna do or it's just a complete flat out lie and most of the times what's on the shelves in your traditional beauty supply stores or in the um you know your grocery stores you know places that you typically go to get your products most of the time you have to do your research guys because they will slap anything on a box create some colorful wonderful packaging and sell you a bunch of bs so just be mindful of that but i really love this treatment because it is true and it does exactly what it says it's going to do and i live by that so i use the um naked assuage um, by essations i love essations it's a staple 
and my salon. I love their product line. And um, after you apply the foam, which we've already done, you blow it dry and you press it out on 450. So I've already done that. And her hair, as you can see, it is smooth. It's like butter, but we're not done. Um, I actually could have went ahead, went back to the bowl, shampooed her lightly. But I had to interject because we are going to freshen up Gary's color. So I am getting ready to put her some uh, fresh toner, a fresh gloss on the front of her hair and the back. And she just allowed me to get creative, guys. So... <laughs> <laughs> y'all stick with me so we can go through it i'm going to tell you exactly what we're about to do okay y'all so i have missed it gary down because um i'm going to be using a demi permanent hair color um to uh to do to freshen up her toner and with demi permanent uh, it actually doesn't work all that well on dry hair the hair needs to be um have a ph it needs to be somewhat open and only um water can do that um so i have to mist her down a little bit so her hair can be a little bit more open and we can get her a uh, cuticle layer to open up and then that demi permanent will take pretty well so after we've already done that um for the front i mixed up some concoction of redken shazy q in the color 9 aa and 9RB and a cap full of orange kicker and a cap full of pink pastel and I don't know what the heck it's gonna do but I'm experimenting I just wanted to play around <laughs> and see what will happen so we'll see at the end how this turns out I do know it's gonna be significantly lighter than the front just because of the level but as far as the tone I don't know what the front is exactly gonna look like but we're playing around here you know <laughs> It's good to have clients that trust you. Okay, and so for the back, uh, I didn't know how that was going to turn out. I used 7C, which stands for copper, um, 6CR, which stands for copper red, and um, one ounce of gloss solution. Well, three ounces, actually. So one and a half of that. Uh, well, three ounces of the color and then three ounces of the gloss solution. So that is what we did I'm just gonna make sure i go through and massage that in really really good i don't want any hot spots and gary has a lot of hair it's just luscious it's a lot and it's easy to get hot spots if you don't saturate and make sure everything is smushed all in and everything like that so um that is going to actually sit for about 20 minutes and on your um on the back of the developer bottle or the product line sometime it um the little what is it the little toner bottles it'll say five to 20 minutes you know that's the recommended process in time but i always like to do the, the max process in time between that 15 to 20 minute range because it just makes you get the most processing and you really get your hair the hair soaks up most of the color during that last few minutes so as you can see we have this beautiful head of hair and you saw what it looked like curly just now absolutely gorgeous i live i love and i love this warmth that we are keeping like she's definitely on the warmer side that copper gold kind of family and i love it and a couple months ago we actually changed her base color to like an off brown because for some odd reason, just me, I don't like seeing copper hair on black hair. It just it just gives me Halloween vibes. I don't know. And not that I'm against Halloween or anything. You know, I like the season of it. But I don't like orange and black on on hair. I just feel like it does nothing for anybody. I don't know. That's, that's just me. It could be all in my head. But... I, I think it makes it more friendly and more appealing when you shift the base a little bit and put it on a brown instead of really dark, dark, dark hair. And Gary's hair is pretty dark, um, typically. So as you can see, it's nice and it's appealing now. It's softer, you know, it, all the colors are just, they're melting together now. So y'all see that front piece though, it came out pretty good you know i don't even know what shade that is i've just been mixing up stuff sometimes y'all but hey i rock with it i rock with that so getting ready to press her out and you know her hair feels 
like butter like it feels so silky so soft the sheen let's just talk about the sheen okay so with the amino acid treatment yes it smooths the hair yes it makes it more manageable yes it keeps out humidity but for people who have low luster hair and your hair doesn't have like a natural shine to it or you don't get um, your natural oils, your natural sebum to come down and give your hair that gloss that it needs naturally. Y'all, this treatment provides impeccable luster, impeccable shine. And for color treated hair, and that is what 75% of my clientele has color treated hair. Because that's all I do is pretty much hair color in a salon. Um... Yeah, their color just reads, I feel like, completely different with this treatment. Uh, it, it's just so much shinier, looks so much healthier. Um, it's not as dull. And you know, sometimes for the curly girls, sometimes we can struggle with drier hair because our hair is more porous, so it eats up product. Well, again, this creates that buffer there, so everything just kind of gets locked in. I love it. It's looking good. It's looking good. And... Y'all, I got through this press in probably 7 to 10 minutes. I'm talking about her entire head. It took me no time to press out her hair because I was just gliding through. And it normally doesn't take me long to press out her hair anyway. I would say maybe about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes on the entire head. But I, we got down about 10 minutes. It was like 5 minutes on this side, 5 minutes on the other. Room. Yeah. Yeah, about five to seven minutes on both sides, and I move fast. <laughs> I sped this part up, but I typically move fast anyway. But look at that, you know, like, yeah. I had to slow it down a little bit so y'all can see what, what's going on. But, oh, yeah, this treatment is second to none. One of my absolute favorites. Okay, y'all, so we are done pressing out Gary. And I am going to curl her using my Babyliss iron, my one and a quarter inch just barrel iron. I'm going to put some voluminous waves in her hair. But we got a little bit of mail from one of our Brandy Beauty family members. Uh, she goes by the name of Andrea on here. Hi, Andrea. Um, she asks, would I explain the process and benefits of using a hair steamer? And is the process good for relaxed and or natural hair? All right. Off rip. The short answer, yes, it is good for both relaxed and natural hair. But let me tell you why. When I think about the use of a steamer, I look at it more so on how it does for the scalp than the hair because the hair is an appendage of the scalp, all right? So whatever is traditionally or typically good for the scalp, your hair is going to receive the benefits of it, okay? So once that hair, when it's, the hair starts up underneath your skin, you know, it's that's where it begins. Once it comes out of that scalp it's already dead you know it's gonna do what it's gonna do and it's just on you at that point to maintain it and to keep it up and care for it so but the steamer is good for follicle growth it's good for stimulating blood flow it's good for removing toxins uh, it's good for balancing the ph it's good for locking in extra moisture extra hydration and opening up that cuticle a little bit more especially for low porosity hair um but not to go off on the deep end with the porosity, uh, but you can do a steam treatment like once a month, all right, and sit under the steamer for like what 10 to 15 minutes. That is ideal because after that, guys, there is a such thing as overhydrating your hair. You can drink too much water and you can kill yourself. You can overwater a plant and it will die. Such same thing with your hair. After 10 to 15 minutes, let it go. Turn the steamer off. Go back to life. All right, just turn it off. Uh, I know a lot of people overhydrate and think that they're doing something by letting these products sit for hours and hours and you know doing all this stuff. Guys, you don't need to do all that. Okay, the hair is designed to accept what it needs to accept and release what it needs to release. After 10 to 15 minutes, it's done. All right, so the steamer is actually really, really good for that. Um, but you don't need to do it excessively. Okay, your hair gets hydration, gets moisture. From a variety of things the steamer is not the only way to do that okay your hair is designed to get what it needs from inside and outside okay but when you interfere with that you you experience adverse things that you don't want to experience so yes it is good and you can do that once a month 
Okay, now look at Gary's hair. And yes, I have done a steam treatment on Gary's hair because um, she has color and sometimes color, um, the porosity is a little bit higher sometimes. You can have really, really porous hair. So it's good to lock in a little bit of extra moisture there. But mm, 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 mm. like, look at that. Like, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Y'all, I love hair color, but more importantly, I love healthy looking hair color. All right. And there is a difference. Don't get me going about that because y'all know I will take it there. But the, between this amino acid smoothing treatment and this color, we we own to something here. All right. But yes, y'all, it's just it's looking so nice, so healthy, so vibrant. And um, I'm going to let y'all hear how ecstatic <laughs> Gary was about her hair. The excitement is just overwhelming. I just love when my clients are excited about their hair. It really makes me feel good. So Thank y'all so much for watching. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and I'll put y'all a few videos at the end so you can go ahead and binge watch. I know you want to anyway. <laughs> I'll see y'all in my next video.